Hi there, welcome back. Uh, another video. Um, so I've now completed the setup for all of my monthly and my weekly uh, spreads for the month of November. And um, so I thought I'd give you a quick look through whilst everything's blank and um, obviously um, all the pages, you can see them for what they are really. So um, I started out with my calendar page and it was really awkward with November because you had ended up having to do six lines but and I made it fit which is fine but I ended up using I think it was three and a half dots um, across for these. Um, I started out with this paper from my card uh, making stash and kind of went with the colour theme around the paper to begin with um, and then uses use this gold gilded uh, washi tape <coughs> excuse me um, I went with brown which um, for me is an unusual colour to use um, but I think kind of captures November and what it's all about we start getting the dark evenings and the uh, clocks changed here in the UK at the weekend so um, we're now getting dark at about six o'clock in the evening uh, so those evenings are starting to come in and we've got that downward slope now into the, the cold winter months. Um, so I, I always do my um, calendar so it's it just big enough really to, to write in um, rather than having a key outside of the, the dates. Then my mood tracker, I decided to do something different. For the last couple of months I've done the hexagon um, mood tracker be a quick flick through to so that's for this month um i went i was using nine different colors but actually i was only using three or four of them so i actually reduced to the colors that i was using this month and decided to go with hearts um and i cut out a cardboard heart and then traced around that um you wouldn't have thought so because they're all different shapes, but <laughs> the the theory was there. And again, the brown theme pulled through. And then uh, next, in previous months, I've had separate pages for my monthly highlights and then my gratitude. And I last month, I decided to pull them together and give two lines for each day. Um, and again, pulled through the brown uh, and this paper's from the same collection that I used in the um, previous page. So really simple, but I love reading through this at the end of the month. Um, really captures what um, I've done in the main events. Uh, and it's easy to forget, even over 30 days, um, you can, um, you know, forget what you've accomplished through the, the month. So um, always worthwhile going back over, not just last month, but previous months as well. Uh, then on to my sleep tracker and habit tracker so my sleep tracker first this is a simple graph where i just plot how many hours sleep i've had during the night and again if i just do a quick flick back um that's this month i'm not doing too well here um and again that just helps me um, i put a little line in at six and a half hours because that's sort of the minimum that i like to get so for me as long as over the month um you know i'm hitting more days above the line than below, then I'm in the right direction. And at the moment with um, COVID and what have you, I think sleep's something that a lot of people are suffering, lack of. Um, habit tracker, um, I've said this in many videos before, um, if you colour in one of these boxes, it means you've achieved. So I like the big boxes um, and it keeps me on track uh, and it keeps me accountable on a daily basis. Um, for uh, the things that I want to achieve. So that's the habit tracker. And again, pulled through um, the same, this is all from the same paper collection. So um, I think it all pulls through quite nicely. Then on to the next two pages. Now these two pages I was incorporating into my weekly spreads, but it was dictating that I then did two uh, two page weeklies. I've pulled them through to monthly and then I've gone with uh, one page weeklies which you'll see in a minute. So my to-do list is where you know when you have that moment where oh I can't forget that goes on here initially. Um, it either then goes into a weekly or it goes into my future log if it um, refers to um, you know the next month um, and then when I've moved it I cross it off here so uh, anything not crossed off here hasn't gone into anywhere else in my journal um, so that I just like the one place to dump everything 
uh, meal planner um, again I was doing this on a weekly basis but I found and if I show you this month's there we go you end up with you know um, for October obviously 31 different meals um, that then helps me pull through to the next month um, and also avoids having the same meal too often as well. Uh, it gives you ideas as well, which um, I like as well. And all on one page um, makes it nice and easy. So that's my meal planner. And again, same paper um, from the uh, same collection. Then my self-care. Now this one's interesting because I've pulled through the brown theme and I've gone with a more... Um, subtle um, uh, variation on my four different categories that I, I put everything into for my self-care. But if I show you the previous month, it's really interesting how colour can make such a difference because last month I actually went with brighter colours and you can see from this month how different that looks just from the colours that I'm using. So it'd be interesting once I start completing this, how that feels and whether actually using brighter colours is the way to go. Um, I've got, um, from the previous month, I've got um, a full um, video on, on this page because this is one I created myself, which I'm quite proud of. Um, so please be sure to, to look that one up and have a watch. So on to my weeklies. Um, as I say, I do one page weeklies. I do like to keep it simple. The weeklies really just become my to-do list on a daily basis and um, it keeps it really focused on what I need to do each day. I do like to prepare all my weeklies ahead so I can keep track um, and you see the benefit of having uh, two weeks in one place in a minute. So really simple, one colour throughout um, and then um, you know, I just cross things off um, as as I do them, but I can plan a little bit uh, moving forward as well. So on to the next page then. So this is actually one page weeklies, but because I've put two weeks in one place, I find this really useful to have. You can, you know, look out for two weeks and, and plan um, two weeks ahead. Um, again, really simple setup. Um, I've said in previous videos, I, I like my boxes. I like to fill in boxes. Um, I'm not one for um, doodles or I'm, I'm not artsy at all. Um, so for me, it's, it's about colour and use of washi tape, really, to decorate my pages. Um, but really simple. Um, and as I say, two weeks uh, view in um, one go, something that I find really useful. And that's the um, final week. Uh, this one I've actually gone with six boxes and just got a weekend box rather than a separate Saturday or Sunday box. I'm not sure how that's going to work because Saturdays and Sundays do tend to be my busier days. But we'll see how that figures um, this month and, and see if that's something that I use in the future. Um, again, simple boxes. And then... Um, I meant to put in a monthly spend page in my monthlies and I forgot so I've put it at the end instead. So through November I just want to keep an eye on my spending because um, I'd very much like there to be something left in the bank at the end of the month for Christmas. So uh, this is just to make myself accountable. I think if you write down what you're spending um, it makes you a bit more wary about what you are spending and, and means that you don't spend on you spend on things you need rather than what you want. Um, in theory, we'll see if, if that works out. Um, so that page has gone in, even though it's it's a monthly page. But um, I think from January onwards, um, um, this is something I, I won't put one in for December because December spending is is a whole different ball game, isn't it? Um, but this one I'll put in from January onwards as part of my monthlies as well. So that's it. That's my um, November setup. Um, looking forward to. Um, using some new things um, and also the existing things that I feel work at the moment. I hope you uh, have enjoyed watching and um, if it's something that um, you're enjoying please subscribe. Uh, my whole channel is just about uh, bullet journaling um, so if that's something that you're into uh, please hit that subscribe button and I uh, hope to see you soon when I start my December. Um, I think I'm thinking gingerbread and candy canes at the moment, but we'll see how that turns out. Take care. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye bye.